Hi there, and thanks so much for joining me for another video. I'm Erin Eno, and today I will not be doing a watercolor tutorial. My week has been um, kind of up and down. My anxiety has been a little up and down along with it. And today was kind of gray and gloomy when I woke up. So I was in definite need of a little watercolor therapy session, and I thought I would film it so you guys can join along. So just sit back and relax and enjoy it, or grab your paints and paint along with me. So let's just get started. Today I have a sheet of my Baohong Academy Cold Press Watercolor Paper. It's 140 pound, 100% cotton. I have a sheet roughly seven by 10-ish around there. I have my uh, Royal Talons Van Gogh watercolors, a jar of water and a paper towel on hand. And I'm just using one brush today. I've grabbed my Curry's uh, store brand brush. That's an art store near me. Um, and it's in a size 12 round. It holds a lot of water, but it has a nice point, so I can do pretty much anything with it. So today's painting therapy session came about because um, I've just been feeling a little anxious lately, and it's kind of a gray, dull day here, so I thought it would be nice to just kind of unwind and relax. So. I've been doing a lot of paintings with you know some bright vivid colors really kind of stimulating colors either that or i've been doing um, tutorials about specific things this is just a let go painting okay and i'm going to try not to use any vibrant colors i just want this really kind of calm and peaceful and low key i can tell you it will be flowers though because that's just what happens so I'm just gonna start and lay some water down. You can even just, you know, splatter some water on. I just want water in places, so I'm gonna get some bleeds unexpectedly where I don't know, because I can't see where the water is, except for some of these drops I can see, but that's okay. It's all good today, because it's just relaxing. So I'm not even gonna rhyme off my colors. You can use whatever colors you want. You can um, try to match what I have, uh, but don't stress over it, really. This is about calm time and just unwinding. So I'm just going to do like kind of blobby flowers and start laying paint down and see where it goes and where this leads me. I'm just going to do all kinds of things with this brush. I can use the point, I can just kind of roll it around. I'm just going to do whatever I want. And I probably won't speak through the whole thing. I'm just going to paint and you can listen to the pretty music. I'll probably say something if something kind of happens that I really like. I'll point that out because I'll be a little excited. And just where you put blobs down, that doesn't mean you have to leave that. You can just kind of blend that right out if you want. There's no rules here and it's just about letting go and letting the paint take you wherever it's going to take you. And bring in whatever colors you want. But I do want to keep it just kind of soft and low key. Sometimes when I do this, I just use whatever um, colors are in my palette, but my palette was clean today, which is why I'm just kind of thinking about what colors I want, but not thinking too much. It 
And if you want to do something that's kind of muted and soft like this, um, and you don't have a lot of soft colors, like muted colors, if your colors are really vibrant, you can always take your vibrant colors, water them down so you get nice light washes, or even add in a color to kind of neutralize the um, the intensity of the pigment, like maybe a, maybe you have a warm gray, like um, or a neutral tint. I have that that's new to me, and I really like it. But I'm just going to keep everything wet, kind of plunk in some colors wherever. This is a nice soft pink. We'll see if that adds anything to it. I don't know how it's going to mix with that kind of rusty color that I put down. We're about to find out. And don't forget, anything you put down here is going to dry a little lighter. You might see that my um, paper starting to warp a bit with, with all the water. I didn't tape it down. You can tape it down if you want. You don't have to, because this is just, you know, winging it session. So do you just get to play around and experiment all you want. I do like some of that green that came in though. Maybe go back to this, add a touch of it down here. I think I will go in and get some of that neutral tint that I have so you can see what it's like. But keeping in the theme of calm and soft, I'm going to water it right down. I'm going to take some more of that. So I'm using the tip of my brush. You can even just go in and kind of roll your brush around like that. Just try different things and see what happens here. You can even dry off your brush, pick some pigment up. This is a good way to stop bleeds too if you want to stop and bleed because you're picking up the moisture that's carrying that paint and when you pick that moisture up that paint's not going to travel anymore. Okay, so even though this neutral tint is a darker color, 
if I leave it with nice soft edges, it doesn't distract from the softness of the painting. So you can go in and put that in just to kind of make the flowers pop a little bit. When I say flowers, I use that term loosely, as you can see, because they are not real specific flower shapes. I might throw some of that pink back in. Yellow is always nice and cheery. And at the end of this, I may even go in and carry on my little therapy session and just do some um, ink over this, some little doodles, because that's nice too. Once everything dries, if you just want to sit down with, um, with a marker and just do some doodling, that's fun. I have four flower heads in there that I can see and that kind of bugs me because I like odd numbers. So I'm going to go in and just punk in another little blobby flower head somewhere. I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe up here. Just do a little blob. Throw in some pink. Again, some more yellow. I kind of like what the green brought in too. I'm using an olive green because it's not so vivid. And I think because this is so soft, I don't do a lot of ink and washes, and I really do want to give them more, um, more of a chance. So I just may do that with this one. Just because I feel a quick 15 little minutes of painting is probably not gonna cut it for me just going to go in and put in some little hints of some stems. Maybe some leaves. And I'm not concerned about any of the shapes. I'm just putting colors down because you can start to pull things out if you're going to do a little ink and wash. I'm going to go try to see what adding some more pink will do. Probably looks a little more vivid than I would like, but it's going to dry lighter. So you can see there's little holes of white and everything. Nothing really matters here. It's just all about just putting things on your paper without a lot of thought. Other than I knew that this was going to turn into flowers. So I'm just adding just with the tip of my brush, just maybe starting the hint of some outlines. 
but because everything's wet, it's still going to bleed and be soft. Just go in and start picking some paint up. See what that does. So I'm getting more of that concentrated green now. Okay, not a lot of water on my brush. And I just want to start putting in some more defined hints of some stems. So the less water I bring into this, the less it's going to bleed. But if yours is bleeding out, um, that's okay too. Everything's okay, right? When it's kind of abstract, no thinking. right out. So just let go and have fun with this. See, I have a little bit of a bloomed 
edge there. So I'm just going to try to get rid of that. And if I can't, um, this is all about relaxing and not caring. And if it's going to stay there, it's going to stay there. I could even enhance it by putting some more green up close to it. So I'm going in with some real heavy pigment now, not a lot of water. So it's not going to travel very far because the painting is starting to dry. You see how you get some flowers just starting to come to life? Like I can see a bit of a rose there and a rose in this one. I really see one there. And I don't want to make it too literal, but I think I'm going to let this dry. And I think I will do some ink wash, ink wash, do some ink line work over top. I do like the pink though. Maybe I'll plop in a little bit more pink. Even the birds outside. I have my window open. I don't know if you can hear, but the birds are out in full force today, which is nice. And yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to leave this and let it dry and then I will have some more relaxing doodle time. So now that that's all dry, I can continue my little relaxing session by doing some line work. I've got a black Sharpie pen, which is bleed proof. So it is pretty decent on watercolor paper. And I'm just gonna start doodling some line work in here and trying not to be really too literal with, you know, petal shapes and whatnot. Just want to kind of play around. You can even sketch in some texture if you want. Highlight some of these stems coming down. But I'm also being kind of sketchy with these lines too, because I don't want anything to be too contrived. Even where there's not a specific shape, you can, you can make one. Like I mentioned, I don't do a lot of um, ink and wash, but it's kind of fun. I just want to be careful not to get carried away with it and, you know, lay down a lot of black marker everywhere. This one I thought really looked like a kind of a closed rose, so maybe I'll just put some lines like that.
don't hold yourself to um, you know really trying to draw a detailed flower and you can see I'm just kind of leaving my strokes pretty sketchy sketchy not sketchy sounds bad <laughs> sketch like I guess This guy is being neglected down here. I see that as kind of a center, so I just not quite sure how I want it to look. Maybe like that. You can even, you know, go in and put some little kind of stamen things there. And I don't want to do too much. Like I say, I don't want it so literal that we're actually doing you know a line work uh, graphic drawing I still want it loose and rough you can even just put another leaf up there if you want and there you go there is my finished watercolor therapy session floral i hope you guys did find this enjoyable and relaxing to watch and maybe give this a try the next time you're feeling stressed or a little anxious or even if you just have painter's block and don't know what to paint so that's it for today guys take care and i will see you next time